Hey what's up everyone welcome to Fever Game. So in this series of tutorials I will teach you how to make different kind of animations in Envy using simple tricks to advance and the name of this series will be called motion graphics with Envy so let's get started. So I have imported an SVG file into Inkscape. You can get this SVG file from drawkit.com. The link of this website will be in the description. So go and download it and then open the 40 number 40 SVG file. And then after importing it to NB, we should start preparing this SVG file for NB. So let's ungroup everything. Yes, everything is ungrouped. And I'm going to rotate this clock. So now we are going to convert things that are not path. So we can see these three little there are three objects which are not path. So let's select them and then and then convert them to a path. They are path now. So let's check in end. Okay, so as you can see something is wrong some of the objects are not showing so we need to fix it let's go back to Inkscape so by pressing ctrl a we can just select everything and then go to path object to path as you can see nine objects converted to path we can also go to path and then choose drop to path and some objects were converted to a path let's remove this drop which is set to unset now let's check on NB again. Still, mother bitch not showing. I have no idea. These are just normal paths, still not showing, which is a frustrating thing to be honest. So let's, let me show you the way to fix this. So what you have to do is select the, the objects that were not showing and then change the color of that to something else and then change the color to its original one we have to do it for every object that we're not showing okay guys so we need to replace this line with a path with two different paths so we can animate it really easily in ins in NB. This is the first one, and then I'm going to duplicate it. And then just save the file and import it to NB again. You can see it is showing now. To be honest, it's such a weird bug to have in this software, but I don't know. I don't know what to say about this bug. So let's start animating this clock, alarm clock. Okay, so we are now in NB and we're going to animate this clock lines where which are going to indicate the time. So let's create a node in the middle of both of these strokes. So let's select the node too. And then what I'm gonna do is as you can see the border of the group is showing. Click on that. It doesn't matter if you select one of the objects, so just select the node, add node object mode, and then add a node in the middle of these two strokes. Scale it a little bit down, and now we can see the node object is in the group. Now I'm going to add a parent effect to the paths and select the node object as a target. I don't know about this influence parameters in the parent effect doesn't work at all which is frustrating for me so what we have to do is delete this parent effect from this from this stroke and then add a fall object effect and then decrease the rotation influence and then select the null object now if you rotate the null object you can see this stroke is not rotating to this null object's rotation points it's rotating 
on its own rotation points which is the pivot point so we need to change the pivot position to the null object so let's change it we can change it by going to translation and then I'm going to copy the translation of the null object and then paste it on the pivot point of this path you can see it's on the null object now if I rotate the null object it's working okay so I have made the rotation influence even less than 0.7 I have added 0.5 so you can try it too so we are gonna animate the rotation of this null object keyframes so let's make it smoother in the graph editor okay so the first animation is done so uh, now we're going to animate these buttons here so let's animate it animate them I'm gonna select both of these and then make union it has make a new path but we need to delete the older ones so let's delete it now let's animate it let's create a keyframe on the translation y I'm going to add a keyframe on here and then I'm going to copy the original keyframe on this on here by pressing by selecting this keyframe and pressing ctrl d and we are going to make it smoother in the graph editor so let's go in the graph editor so let's preview it it's working it's looking good and now we are going to animate these two bells of the alarm, alarm clock create a path with the path to in the group let's create a path in the group now I'm going to duplicate it and then move the pivot point of this path to its middle center pivot and then we're going to object and then flip horizontal and then I'm going to move it to here and now we just need to animate add a transform effect follow path select length list and then choose the path so this one is path 0 so let's choose path 0 and now we just have to animate the complete starting from here and then I'm going, on, going to make it smoother in the graph editor after that I'm just going to copy and paste the keyframes And now we're going to do the same thing in here. Let's select this path and then add a transform effect. Follow path, length based. And this is path one, so we're going to choose path one for the target. And then I'm going to animate it, but after this one has hidden the body, so I'm starting from here. Then in the last keyframes, we are going to paste the original position of this. Bells. Let's preview it. Looking good. Now we just, uh, I'm going to animate this whole body let's add a null then I'm going to parent this whole group to the null object okay, they are already a null object so it's confusing so let's change it to something else okay it's looking good let's increase the size so what I'm going to do is create a jumping animation of this whole group while it starts ringing so let's add a parent effect of the null I'm going to move this whole group a little bit down so let's add a keyframe on the null objects translation in the y-axis it's gonna go up and add 
details so let's go into the graph editor and do some magic and let's go into the graph editor make it like this and what I'm going to do is make it a little bit upper so that it goes a little bit down you can see the keyframes are too close so we need to move it a little bit Now we can add more anticipation. As you can see, this is a really useful trick. I hope this will help you in your project. And now, after jumping, the alarm clock will rotate like crazy. So, let's add a rotation keyframe and then we're going to animate it. And then add a little bit rotation, not that much. And after that, we need to smooth the keyframes. And now we can just copy and paste these keyframes. And in the last, in the end, let's go back to zero. And for coming back to Arduino position, let's add the keyframe. And then go back. We need to smooth the keyframe in the end. So that's it for today. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and share it with your friends. In the next one, I will show you how to create a different animation with the same SVG files from the website Rocket. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.